Hey, what's up YouTube? In today's short video, I'm going to demonstrate how this neat caustic shader can be replicated in Unreal Engine. So first of all, shout out to Ivan for having made that article at the time. If you're not aware, this is a classic. As you can see, it's quite old and I had kind of forgotten about it, to be honest, and recently stumbled upon it and I remember at the time, I just couldn't comprehend how it worked and now apparently I can. Hey, so let's talk about it, shall we? First of all, I've got this simple water shader. It samples two textures, one is a simple tiling wave height and the other is a tiling normal map. Both are projected using world space coordinates, offset using time to have them both scroll in X and Y. That same normal map is also sampled once, here, to distort those world space coordinates and give that water a more interesting look. Nothing too fancy, right? There are better ways to do a water shader, but for this video, I actually don't care. The water shader isn't actually the important bit. Anyway, the normal map is then used here, and the height here to move vertices up and down. Again, nothing too fancy. Moving on, I have this water caustics material, and this is where it gets interesting. This material uses that same exact setup, right? Wave height map here, and normal map there. There's however also extra shenanigans in that material, so I'll do my best to explain it. Alright, actually this article does a great job at explaining how it works. Basically, you have some kind of light wave front, right? So say some amount of light per centimeter squared. That light wave front goes through the water plane, intersects with it based on the wave height, and shifts direction based on the water refraction index and wave normal, and continues until it reaches that flat water bed. Emphasize on flat. It's possible to use some kind of ray-marching algorithm to support non-flat water bed, but it's a whole other topic. The beauty of this technique is that it really only relies on this quote-unquote code to compute the caustic. This basically says, hey, get the surface of that light wave front before it hits the water and compare with its surface once it has reached the water bed. And because of that water refraction index and the way light bounces in all kind of directions due to the wave normals, in some places, that surface has increased, meaning the light was diffused and thus should have less energy, be darker. And in other places, that area has decreased, meaning the light was compressed and thus should have more energy, be brighter. And this is exactly that. That's the light wave front before it hits the water, and that's the one once it has reached the water bed. Compare the two and I get a light intensity variation that I further modulate to have some artistic control. Now, this is only possible because the GPU actually computes pixels in a grid of 2x2. Two two. So these DDX and DDY are what we call partial derivatives, meaning it's a way to ask the GPU, hey, see that value I may send, see what that value is on the neighboring pixel in X, compare the two and get me the delta, the difference, right? So to measure the surface of a 2D area, get the XYZ world position of the surface to shade at a given pixel, See what that wall position is on the neighboring pixel on the x-axis and get the delta. So that's still an xyz vector and so get the distance. Do the same on the y-axis, multiply the two and we get distance in x times distance in y and that's a surface in centimeters squared. Then do the same with the distorted light wave front and see how much that surface increased or decreased if it has changed at all. Now again this is highly approximate and may result in all kind of limitations and glitches because you can only do so much with comparing values between neighboring pixels, but it's for sure a smart approach. Anyway, you might still wonder about this bit though. Alright. So again, using this world position here to compute that surface error is like saying hey, this is the base amount of light reaching that water surface. Now, I want to get the position of that light wave front hitting the water surface and really that just the world position with the wave height added. At that point, I want to have that light wave front travel in a direction based on the water refraction index and the slope of the water surface at that position, so the water normal map. To compute that direction is fortunately very easy with this simple custom HLSL code 0.75 for the default water refraction index. Then, given that light ray position and direction, I need to figure out where that ray hits given a flat water bed below. And that's essentially a line-to-plane intersection test, a relatively simple math problem. And this node does actually pretty much this, and I'll let you watch my previous video to have some extra details, but basically this assumes the ray origin is the camera's position, and I don't want that, and it uses the camera's position to derive a ray direction, and I also don't want that. 
So some minor tweaks lets me convert these functions to that, and I end up with a wall position at which that light ray hits the water bed. And to actually see this, I can convert that position to an offset, like so, switch to a crazy high density geometry, and go to wireframe, and tada, you can see the caustics right there. And if I increase either the wave slope or water bed distance, those caustics spread apart more and more. Sweet, ah, math. Such a lovely invention. Anyway, this effect actually don't need a world position to work. However, I'm going to add some steel, simply based on the refracted light vector with a flat water surface, to have that water bed offset as a whole just for this demo, because then I can move the light around and see the caustics be displaced accordingly, and that's kinda neat. And voila, that's pretty much it for today's video. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you like the content. Files are available for free on my Patreon, please also consider joining in in case you want to access all kind of cool educative projects and want to support me. That's it, have a fantastic day, take care of yourself, bye bye!